Hey guys, my name is Richard and I'm a second year student at the University of Toronto. I can finally say that I'm a second year student since all my exams are done. It just feels so good to not worry about anything anymore. I hope you guys had a great week as well. I know around this time you guys probably have made your final decision on which universities to go to. So congratulations on whichever universities that you guys decided to go to. Since it's already end of April, school's gonna be done soon, which means summer is just around the corner. And when I came to U of T, I realized how important it is to spend your time well during your summer. So spending this summer well can potentially change your first year and your whole university life entirely. So today, I'll tell you guys how to spend your summer wisely. All right, so first and foremost, I think most students often forget about this really important step because they're so busy worrying how their first year in university is going to go. However, I think the most important thing that you guys need to do in summer is relaxing and having fun with your family first. Sure, planning ahead can be helpful. And many of you guys who are watching this video are probably planning ahead because you want to make sure that your first year in U of T goes well. So every one of you out there, the most important thing that you guys need to do right now is spend your time with your friends and family. And especially those of you who are coming from a different province, different country, you guys are not going to see your friends and family for a long time. So make sure to spend as much time as you can with your friends and family because once you relax and have fun, you're gonna be all refreshed and ready to grind when you come to U of T. So make sure you're refreshed because you just finished your life in high school. And if you just keep on grinding over the summer, you'll most likely burn out when you come to U of T. So make sure that you guys are refreshed so that you can use all that power at U of T. For me, I can proudly say that I did a really good job on this because I had a really fun time before coming to university and I was very refreshed when the school year started. So trust me and just relax first. All right, now that you guys know how important it is to spend your time with your friends and family, I can tell you guys the things to do in summer in order for you guys to have a better time at U of T. So during summer, there are two big things you guys must do. First, you need to find a place to live. And second, you need to enroll in classes. So I'll talk about finding place to stay first. So my first year, I had a great experience on living on campus. Being part of a new college, I stayed at 45 Wilcox. So if you guys are like me and thinking of staying on res, you guys will have to fill out a form on a website called Star Res. The exact link to this website will be on the description below, but it's starportal.utrono.ca. So once you're on this website, you guys will then be able to choose what res you guys want to stay in. This is where you can choose if you want to have a single dorm or a double dorm. And I'm pretty sure you can choose your meal plan here as well. You'll have all the prices for specific options. So look for the option that works the best for you. And if you guys want more information about residences, I highly recommend you guys to watch my other video, everything you need to know about University of Toronto dorms. I'll also put the link to this video in the description. One thing I wanna let you guys know about the living on residence process is that you guys may or may not have to write an essay for me to live on 45 Wilcox, I remember I had to write why I would be a good fit to the community and what my personal values and beliefs are. I don't remember the exact questions and I'm sure they change the questions every year, but don't be surprised if they ask you to write an essay or provide more information about yourself. It's kind of like the supplementary application process, but it's way easier, so don't worry about it too much. Now, once you guys have successfully figured out everything on this website, U of T will send you a confirmation notification on your residence. Here, before I move on, I want to emphasize that you don't have to live on campus in your first year. Lots of my friends are commuters as well, which means they don't live on campus, but they seem like they had a lot of fun as well. So don't worry if you don't get residence in your first year. Now, after you figured out where you want to stay in Toronto, the next thing you guys will probably have to do is enrolling in classes. So this whole enrollment in classes are done in Acorn. Acorn is a U of T's website that you guys will use a lot when you come to U of T. In Acorn, you guys will be able to see your finance account, your academic history, and your class enrollment. And as I said, you guys will use this website a lot when you come to U of T. You can log on to your Acorn account using your UTOR ID and your password. And once you get in, the first thing you guys will probably have to do is depositing your minimum deposit. The university should send you more details about this minimum deposit. And what it essentially is, is the minimum amount of money that you need to deposit into Acorn in order for you guys to enroll in classes. For me, I remember this deposit being around $3,000. You guys will only be able to enroll in classes when the enrollment time starts, and U of T will let you guys know when the enrollment time is for that year. But remember that you can look for courses that you want to take and put it in your enrollment cart. Think of this process like Amazon. So you can look for the items that you want to buy and put it in your shopping cart. But putting the items in the shopping cart doesn't mean that you bought the item. In order to buy the items, you need to check out and pay. It's the exact same thing. You can put the courses that you want to buy in this enrollment cart, but it won't automatically enroll you in that class because you still need to check out and pay. 
and this checkout will happen on the enrollment day. Hopefully that makes sense. And using Acorn, you guys will be able to see a rough sketch of your schedule. You can still drop and enroll in classes once you get to university. So the schedule that you have in your hand may not be your final schedule, but that is still your rough sketch of your schedule. Now then the final stage begins. Now that you guys have a rough sketch of your schedule, look at where your classes are located and draw a roadmap on the campus map. And once you draw the roadmap, you will then be able to see how far you have to walk in between classes. And if you have a back-to-back -back class that is like two kilometers away, make sure to switch out of that class because that's exactly what I did. I had a back-to-back -back class that was about 15 minutes of a walk and you have to give us 10 minutes to walk to your next class. And oh boy, I had to sprint like a madman on every Tuesday. So don't make the same mistake as I made and draw a roadmap and see how far your classes are. And if it's too far, make sure to space those classes out so that you have time to walk like a normal person. Now, finally, I already mentioned this in the videos I made in the past, but make sure to look over some of the stuff that you guys will learn in first year so that you have an easier time learning the materials once you're actually at U of T. If you review some of the things you guys will learn in your first year, it'll be so much easier for you guys to manage your time once you're at U of T and that will make you succeed at U of T. So to conclude this whole video for you guys, first and foremost, enjoy your time with your friends and family and make sure that you're refreshed so that you can grind at U of T. Second, look for places to stay. And if you're thinking of living on residence, check the Star Rise website. And you don't have to live on campus if you don't want to. Third, enroll in classes through Acorn and make your minimum deposit and draw a roadmap so that you don't make the same mistake as I did. Lastly, look over some of the stuff that you guys will learn in first year because that'll make your time management so much easier once you're at U of T. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. And as always, if you guys have any questions, suggestions, or any funny things you guys want to say to me, please let me know in the comments. I really enjoy reading them all. And if you guys like this kind of content, please let me know. Thank you for watching this video. And until next time, bye-bye.